Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here. From what we have here, we can multiply this directly x times x times x, that's same thing as x cubed minus x times x, that's x squared equals to 100 from here. The next step here, we take 100 to the left hand side, and this becomes x cubed minus x squared minus 100 then equals to 0 here then here yeah, we can express 100 as 125 minus 25 that is this equation becomes x cubed minus x squared minus into bracket 125 minus 25 close brackets then equals to 0 here and from here, this minus open this bracket, and we have x cube minus x square minus 125 plus 25, then equals to 0 here. Then also we can express 125 as 5 times 5 times 5, that's 5 cube, and also 25 as 5 times 5, that's 5 square. Then what we have here becomes x cube minus x square minus 5 cube plus 5 square, then equals to 0 here. Then here, we bring the power of 3 together. That is, here we have x cube minus 5 cube. In the power of 2 together, we have minus x square plus 5 square equals to 0 here. Then, yeah, this can be written as x cube minus 5 cube into brackets. Then minus, comma here we have into bracket x square minus 5 square plus bracket equals to 0 here. And this first bracket follows when we have a cube minus b cube. And this is same thing as a minus b into bracket, open bracket, a square plus a b plus b square. And the second bracket also follows when we have a square minus b square, which is same thing as a minus b into bracket. Open bracket A plus B. Then we apply this to this equation, and what we have becomes x minus 5 into brackets, open brackets, x square plus 5x plus 5 square, close brackets for the first one here, minus. Also, open brackets, this second bracket for example becomes x. Minus 5 into brackets, open bracket x plus 5 close brackets, then equals to 0 here. Then here we have x minus 5 common, we factor it out and this becomes x minus 5 into brackets, then open brackets, here remain x square plus 5x plus 5 square, that's 25. Then here, remain minus into bracket x plus 5, close bracket, then close this bracket, which is equal to 0 here. That is, next step here, we have minus open this bracket, and we have x minus 5 into bracket, then open bracket. Here we have x square plus 5x plus 25. Then minus x minus 5 close bracket equals to 0 here. Then this becomes x minus 5 into brackets, open brackets, x square, 5x minus x give us plus 4x, then 25 minus 5 give us plus 20 close bracket equals to 0 here. Then here yeah, we have two possible cases. The first one x minus 5 equals to 0. Or we have x square 
plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here. Solving on this side, we have x equals to 5, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation. We are a equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 20. And applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then here, what we have becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 then over 2 times 1. Then here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square here give us 16 then minus 4 times 1 times 20 we have 18 over 2 here. That is this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of my 16 minus 80 that gives us minus 64 then over 2. Then from here can write it as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 over 2. Then here yeah, from where we have root a times b, you can write it as root a times root b. You can separate this and we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 over 2. That is here. This becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64, that's 8. Then root minus 1, we have i over 2. And this same thing as x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. And this here we have x equals to minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2 plus or minus 8i over 2 becomes 4i. And this here we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, here we have three solutions together here. One real and two complex. When I write it out, we have x1 equals to 5, x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4i, and x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4i. Making three solutions. One real and two complex. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos, turn the notification bell on, and share this video, give it a thumbs up, put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.